this offshore trust services video, Ryan explains what you need to know about jurisdictions and the protector. My name's Ryan Fowler. A little bit about myself. I'm an asset protection, estate planning, and global investing consultant. I have a nationwide clientele. The net worth ranges from about $200,000 to over $100 million. I'm the author or co-author of two books on asset protection. The latest is Asset Protection in Financially Unsafe Times. It's co-authored with Dr. Arnold Goldstein. It's the best rated and one of the best selling books of its type on Amazon.com. So let's talk about the best jurisdictions. Well, the jurisdiction with the best track record is the Cook Islands. It has a record of twice telling a, a U.S. federal court to take a hike when that court was trying to um, seize assets uh, on behalf of a creditor. Uh, no other jurisdiction has that track record. There's a couple jurisdictions that have actually kind of bowed to U.S. courts demand, one being the Isle of Man. Uh, so definitely stay away from the Isle of Man. Um, some other jurisdictions though are Nevis, uh, which their trust act is modeled after the Cook Islands Act. The Cayman Islands is uh, uh, pretty good too. Um, Belize is not horrible, but their law actually um, is too anti-creditor and too in your face uh, to the point where it probably just make a U.S. judge um, mad. <laughs> it's so anti-creditor. Panama, there can sometimes be a language barrier there. Um, Western Samoa, not not bad, but again, their their um, their trust statutes are not nearly as well developed as the Cook Islands. And you know, again, you have the problem with uh, Panama, and some some people there speak English, some don't that well. And that's been a problem based on my experience, so I stay away from Panama. We talk about the protector also. The protector's job is to make sure that the trustee does his job, and so a protector does not actually control or manage those trust assets, but he can veto trustee actions and he can fire and replace the trustee if he thinks that that's appropriate. And usually a trustee, uh, I'm sorry, a protector, we try and place offshore as well because you want them outside of the reach of a U.S. judge. Um, annual protector fees, 500 to 750, anything over that, you're paying too much. So uh, we want to try and, you want to keep your uh, trust cost effective. It used to be in the 90s, some people charge 25000 a year to be a trustee. Well, those days are gone, but still there's people out there that charge too much. And you have reputable companies that charge a fair price, and they've been doing it a long time now, and hundreds of millions of dollars of assets, and so you know they're safe. Um, really, you just need a good planner to know who those good people are that have a very established, good reputation that will take good care of, uh, do a good job as trustee and protector. So if you've liked this video, I've got a copy of my book, Asset Protection in Financially Unsafe Times, as an ebook, a 20-minute no-cost consultation, and a series of asset protection secrets ready to be sent right to your email inbox. All this is free. Just visit www.assetprotectionoffer.com. Thanks.